Hi, I'm Dan Gordon, co-founder and beer guy for Gordon Biersch. Let me give you a little history of our company. Dean Biersch and I started the company 20 years ago in Palo Alto, California as an upscale brewery restaurant and built a state-of-the-art brewing and bottling facility in San Jose 10 years ago. I completed a five-year brewing engineering program at the Technical University of Munich in Weinstephan after graduating from UC Berkeley. I'm here in front of our silos which hold 65,000 pounds of malt that we source from around the world. Any minute now a truck could be coming in from Germany. Malt is the creator of the buzz and fizz in beer, meaning the alcohol and carbon dioxide. Malt is made by soaking barley or wheat in water until it sprouts. After it sprouts, it's roasted. This roasting process creates different colors and flavors. Now hops give beer its bitter flavor. They're cone-like flowers that grow on vines. They contain a little acid in it that creates that bitterness and aroma. The hops that we use are actually sourced from Germany, specifically the Hallertau and Tettnang regions. There are thousands of different yeast strains and they're incredibly important towards creating different flavors in the finished beer. We actually grow our yeast from a test tube, starting off and going into a little flask and then actually finishing up in a Carlsberg flask. After that, we go down to our big biological propagators where we actually use the yeast only one time. And here we are in front of the yeast growing machinery, which is called the propagator. We have two of them. This little guy here holds about a thousand liters whereas the giant one that we use for the yeast in just one time holds almost 5,000 liters. It takes a lot of water to make beer. To make great beer, you have to have great water, which requires putting the water through filtration and reverse osmosis. Let me show you how we brew our authentic German-style beers. The malt is ground up and mixed with warm water. This is called the mash. The mash is heated up and the complex starch is naturally converted into simple sugars. The mash is pumped into a sieve bottom vessel called the Lauterton and a sweet extract called wort is separated from the malt husks. The wort is pumped into the brew kettle and brought to a boil. This is when the hops are added. After boiling, the wort is pumped into a whirlpool followed by cooling. The eight hour long brewing process is followed by seven days of fermentation at 50 degrees Fahrenheit and then a lengthy five weeks of aging at freezing. During the aging process, the yeast continues to work. First, naturally carbonating the beer and second, it really smooths out the flavor profiles. After five weeks of aging, we go through an extensive filtration process to remove the yeast. After filtration, the beer goes on to bottling. The glass bottles are unpacked, then rinsed, filled, capped. Bottles are labeled, then dropped into cases, sealed, palletized, and then stretch wrapped on their way to the cooler. This is the final resting place for our beer. It's kept in our refrigerated warehouse at a brisk 36 degrees so the beer is always fresh. Even our distributors are required to deliver it and keep it refrigerated door to door. So that's always in pristine condition.